I think Coco's going for our Arvo swim, but first we're going to duck into town. He's interested in a type of bike, what they call cafe races. When I was buying my bike, used, I was pretty sure um, they sold that style of bike, something similar, in there. So that's what we're going in there. Just want to have a look at these things, even if it's like a Chinese replica. Just after the look of the bike. Very retro, very retro. And that's what Coco's interested in. The cafe racer. So that's what we're up to guys, and I thought we'd take you use along for a look and to see what type of bikes are available in Vientiane. Second hand and new. Maybe get a few little prices, eh? Hey? Okay guys, along this road here, we're just in the car park, up here is where immigration, Lauer Immigration is. This is where I purchased my bike from, all on this side is second hand bikes. On the other side where we're going, uh, new bikes. And when we see it, We'll see something similar. We'll give you an idea of what a cafe racer is if you, if you don't know. And I'll throw some pictures up to show you guys what can be done with them also. CBR. I was able to pick up my little scoopy eye from here. Uh, it was around the 900 US mark. They were about two and a half thousand new, I think. There we go. Uh, what's this one here? That is the shape of what they call cafe races. Kawasaki, okay. 175. Yeah, so you're 140,000 K. But, so you're looking about 4,000 US on that. I remember seeing that style when I was looking at bikes and once Kogo said he was after that style of cafe racer. I couldn't remember if it was Chinese knockoff of the style or what that is, you know, a genuine bike of Kawasaki. We were hoping that it'd be just a Chinese look-alike, get something a little bit cheaper. Uh, nothing like it here. Yeah. All new models. All new models. We'll uh, go back and have a look through, the, have a good look through the used, see if there's anything of interest there. So it looks like Don Caraco will be just keeping his eye out for a second hand, second hand 150 or 175, something like that, and just um, do it up himself. Chinatown. Yeah. 
yeah, he's glorifying it a bit there, but yeah. And to see they got any bike shops there, you know, Chinese made bikes in that Red Trail Cafe Racer style. I do know over at Nong Teng, right uh, near the Lao Aussie markets, there's some Chinese bike places over there that sell the like the Honda Cub rip-off retro look and they also make a rip-off of the Zoomy Zoomer X's also and you can get them for third, nearly half the price so you know again it's just the look we're after we're not after the original type of bike you're going to customise it and that once a bike's customised, you don't even know what make it was. No, no, this is Chinatown, people. China City, as Kogo likes to call yeah. it. <laughs> Apparently I've learnt. This there got the fish out on the front porch. because we've seen Keyway dealership back there to the Italian bike sell genuine cafe races and now we've seen one we've seen all these Chinese places just trying to do a U-turn guys there he's going nice looking Cub also I see back here the uh, Cub Classic Cub Classic <laughs> Yeah, that's a rip off. Rip off of your Honda Cubs. Still looks cool. I thought it was a Honda Cub from the distance, but it wasn't. What are you getting? See on the poster here. Hey, sugar hit, mate. You want one? No, I'm good. off it you've still got that straight line that um, 
identifies like a cafe racing straight through from the tank to the back of the seat. Say one million kip is one hundred dollars. These things are nine hundred dollars, bit about a thousand US. He likes that, but this is what I like. They look good, customized also. I'll throw some up, check them out. Whatever he was going to buy, he was going to be customizing it anyway. So spending a lot of money. A genuine buy if you're spending even more than customizing for something like this. He's still going to get the look, still going to be a new bike, and the look that he's after so for a thousand US dollars. And it's just the frame, the rake of the forks, and that straight line from the tank to the seat that identifies a cafe racer. Kogo's little project. 36 k baht. 36 k baht, uh, 30 US dollars, 50 Australian dollars is 1,000. Uh, multiply that by 36. They're looking 1,800 Australian dollars, 1,200 if my quick calculations is right. Yeah. <laughs>